Uh, this is a very nice uh, British made, uh, well designed stereo called a Cirrus 1 and uh, this one came to me and it was kind of dead, wasn't working at all. Um, I opened it up and I found that the um, there's a couple of like internal glass fuses, these quick blow fuses and they were both blown on both sides. Um, so I put some new ones in, they blew as well almost immediately so okay something wrong with the circuit so I had to go over the circuit um, inside this thing and <clears throat> was basically just checking all of the output stages so um, all the uh, main output transistors on both sides there and there and then the various drivers sort of going back and I discovered that on one side we had um, this transistor Q43 and this one Q33 will not give me the correct values so um, that's what kind of what they look like so this was the one that I've taken out um, or one of the ones that I've taken out anyway that's that's one of the main output transistors you can see it's got this, this metal bit that attaches to a heat sink and yeah it wasn't giving me the right readings at all um, in the circuit good thing about a stereo system is you can sort of um, you can check one side against another um, uh, which is kind of useful. Anyway, this one was clearly, it was just shorting on, on, on all sides. So there's obviously something clearly wrong. And um, yeah, so I basically just kind of like took it all apart, swapped in the new ones, I replaced that one, that one, and um, put the glass fuses in. And the other thing I need to do is rebias it. So there are some variable resistors. Where are they? Right here. These ones. And these guys um, you can adjust and it changes the quiescent current going, supplying. We take measurements basically across here, I think it is. Um, oops, sorry. Across there as you're adjusting the voltage. Basically, you kind of want the um, it, it kind of idling at the right, um, at the right current. So, um, yeah, I just made a couple of adjustments to the bias as well. And it seems to be working quite well. The only, the only issue with this seems now really is as the switches are still working the switching system the volume's not too crappy either um it's just this sort of aesthetic thing because i think this must have suffered some damage at some point so it's been taped back i had to tape it back on um there's there's some screws at the bottom that the um have uh i can't really show you at the moment but um the basically the the, the shell, so the, where the screw the, the screw housing area is kind of cracked uh, cracked away, so it's had to be taped on instead. It's a bit of a shame, but cause it's a nice it's a nice thing. It sounds really good, really nice for playing um, records on. Anyway, I might get one myself. <laughs> Brilliant.